Hey guys, doing a video on an accidental break in my reef tank. Came home from work the other day and my green tip hammer colony was broken in half. So this piece that you're seeing there was laying upside down on my sand bed on top of my scully. And the other half of the colony, which is what you're seeing now, was still attached to the rock. So the colony before it broke uh, looked like this. It was a eight head, well, a little over eight head colony there of green tip hammer. Um, it was nine heads and um, it broke right in the middle. The four heads on the end there broke off and fell and the five heads that are on the other end there uh, stayed attached to the rock work. So there's a couple uh, potential culprits that could have done this. Again, uh, it happened while I was at work, so I didn't see it happen. I don't know 100% um, who the culprit was, but there are a couple likely culprits that uh, we'll talk about here. All right, so the guys that um, I am considering as potentials for breaking it. First is my clownfish. As you saw him poking in there, again, he pokes in here. That's right where the break occurred. So there's a highly likelihood of him hosting it is what, or she, she's, this is the large one, uh, hosting it is what broke it. The second culprit is my urchin. Um, it could just be coincidence, but it broke two weeks after adding the urchin to the tank. So the urchin is a culprit just due to timing, but I think the likely um, culprit is the clownfish. So here's one of the two pieces. This is the four forehead piece that fell to the ground. And then I'll have a five head piece that stayed attached to the rock work. Um, just kind of doing this video because again, things like this are gonna happen in your tank. The clownfish hosting it, um, you know, if it got a little rough, a little pushy, maybe got in a fight with the uh, with another fish or the smaller clownfish, absolutely, this can happen. Um, get too rough with it, bump against it, and absolutely can break it. And then here's the other piece that's attached to the rock, uh, as well as cleanup crew. So you know, a Mexican turbo snail trying to squeeze by could actually break it. I don't have any in the tank. Uh, but I did, again, I recently put that urchin in, so that is a possibility that could have broke it as well. So I had kind of a couple options. I could have taken this uh, break and sold a piece of it. Um, I didn't do that. I decided to keep it, and I just glued it to the rock work next to the uh, other piece that was there. So I just glued them right there next to each other, the forehead and the five head. Um, still looks great in the tank, sitting next to each other, but again, it was one bigger colony and that guy got broke. All right, so I'll leave you here with, a, again, a last look at these guys and I'm gonna give you a uh, look at my urchin. Um, hope you like this, give me a like. Give me a subscribe, check out some more of my content, and I'll get more out soon. Thanks, guys.